Okay, so uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to quickly show you a little known feature in particular, and it's the bounce uh, options. And basically, you can make it collide with uh, solids and uh, other objects. So I'm just going to create a new uh, composition. I'm going to create a solid for my uh, particular layer. Just add in particular there. So we've got this basic uh, layer. I'm just going to link it to a emit null. So just create a null and then alt stop watch click position x y and pick whip link it to the emit null position. So we're kind of emitting from this null. It just gives gives us more control. Uh, I'm gonna go to the physics system. I'm just gonna add some gravity obviously to make it fall down. Right. So okay, we can use that. Uh, I'm just going to add a camera quickly. Uh, an all for the camera, just to kind of control it, do some rotations. Right, so I'm just going to create my collision plane. I'm going to use a solid, and I'm going to make a square shape. I'm going to call this coal plane. And uh, make sure you put it underneath the particular layer. Uh, and I'm going to make it 3D and then rotate it along X like that. Now if you go to the particular settings where it says physics model air, change that to bounce and then you've got this bounce option here. Open that up and we can choose basically like a floor layer and a wall layer. So I'm actually going to use floor layer. I'm going to choose collision plane. As you can see now, the particle particles are colliding. And they're quite bouncy. Now you'll notice they're not kind of falling off the edge, they're just kind of carrying on. And this is because you need to select uh, where it says infinite plane, make it layer size. And you've even got a layer alpha option, which is pretty cool. So look at that. That's now falling off the edge. Particles are very bouncy, so I'm just going to reduce that down to 10. And I guess this is like it's more like a water effect. This, and if you want to increase the slide speed, I'm just going to bump that up, and it kind of speeds the surface speed up. So I'm just going to create. A, show you another thing. I'm just going to create a pre-comp here. I'm going to add some uh, noise, turbulent noise. I'm going to make it 50% white, 50% black out there. I'm going to call this uh, noise. And ah, I need to duplicate this. And I'm going to loom my invert matic to itself. So basically, I've got this uh, kind of areas of. Um, Transparency, which I might loom a mat, yeah. So the white areas are white, and uh, you can see right through it, it's transparent. So I just call that noise, and then um, I'm gonna alt and drag and replace it with a collision plane just so it pops right into the pretty much the same place. And in my particular settings, uh, floor layer noise, yep, layer alpha is what I want to use. I'm just going to move this into place a bit more. Oops, it's hard to control. But it's hard to see, but basically what happens is the particles are falling through cracks. Um, trying to get a better camera position on it. Maybe side on is a good example. So yeah, it's basically because um, it's using layer alpha, where we have uh, transparent areas, the kind of particles are falling through, and the ones that kind of you can see some of them are colliding, and some of them are falling straight through. So actually, what I can do is even simpler, I guess, to show this is um, I'll create a solid white. And uh, just draw a circle 
mask. So maybe this is a better kind of way of showing it. And as you can see now, let's rotate this. Nothing's happening. Maybe it needs a re. Uh, Ah, sorry, there's a mask on the noise. That's what's throwing it off. Yeah, just make sure you've got no masks on the... Now, we should have a circular uh, fall off. Yep, I see a circular spread. I'm just going to change its color. So there you go. It's taking into account the fact that it's a circular shape. Yeah, those are the basics of uh, the bounce system. You can create a wall as well. It's pretty much does the same thing as the floor. Um, not much difference. It's basically just like another collision layer. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful.